In one of the companion videos for chapter 17, I created this very simple script that takes a command, parameterizes it, and basically creates it as a tool that someone else could use without having to open this thing up and edit it. The downside of that approach is, well, if you create a bunch of these tools, you're going to have a, a bunch of different files floating around, each one sitting as its own tool. It might be useful to say, uh, take a single script and put a bunch of these tools in it in such a way that they can each still be used. So let's start by changing the name of this. I'm going to save this as toolkit.ps1. Now I need to bundle this set of this well, this single command and its parameter in such a way that it can exist, coexist alongside other commands. And the easy way to do that is just to create it as a function. Uh, I'm going to give it a commandlet style name and keep my typing neat here and do the little indentation. And well, that's it. That's all I need to do. Now, having done that, I can create multiple functions right in this same file. So I'll just do a quick one here that's very similar to this one by copying and pasting. And instead of querying the Win32 operating system class, I will query the Win32 BIOS class, and I won't select any properties out of it. So now I have two functions, getOSinfo and getBIOSinfo, all contained within the same script. Drop down here to the command line, and let's just run that toolkit. Okay, so hopefully uh, that ran. Now I should be able to run get OS info and well, nothing happens. Well, that's not good. And, and here's what happens. This gets back to this concept of scope. Basically, when I ran this script, PowerShell said, okay, I see this first function. I'll remember that. I see the second function. I'll remember that. And oh, the script is over. So now I can forget everything that I saw in this script. So I, I ran the script, and it defined those two functions, and then when the script ended, those two functions went away. We can actually verify that by looking at the function drive. And you'll notice you don't see get OS info or get BIOS info. So the trick to making that toolkit an actual reusable toolkit is in a technique called dot sourcing. You type a dot and then a space, and then the full path or a relative path to whatever script it is you're trying to run. This causes the script to run without its own scope being created first. That means once those two functions are defined, they won't go away just because the script has finished executing. And if we get a directory of the function drive, we should see get BIOS info and get OS info. Well, now I should be able to run get dash OS info, and it works. Let's try get BIOS info, and that works as well. So that dot sourcing is kind of a neat technique for including a bunch of tools. Now, if you had a profile script, you could put the dot sourcing into that profile script, and that way every time you ran a copy of PowerShell, anything in your little toolkit would automatically become available to you throughout the shell. So it's a really, really cool little technique. Now, it's not ideal because there's no good way for me to easily remove all of the things that I dot sourced in without individually deleting them. Uh, so if I want to redefine one of them or something else, it gets a little complicated. But later on, we're going to talk about script modules, which offer a solution to that problem.